Well, since I got the new Suicide Squad movie on DVD, I thought I might as well review the other Suicide Squad movies. The 2016 version of the Suicide Squad, then Birds of Prey released last year. So today, Suicide Squad 2016. Alright. The story of a group of criminals, they are brought together to take on mystic force called the Enchantress. And if they fail to defeat the force, they die. That's pretty much the plot. The story is plain and simple. It's a take on the classic Suicide Squad comic books. Very shocked that they made this into a movie. I'm not really that familiar with the Suicide Squad. The only people I'm familiar with is Harley Quinn, Killer Croc, and Deadshot. That's about it. As far as the others, never heard much about them. Rick Flag, I don't know a whole lot about him. Captain Boomerang, I've seen him some of the, you know, the Batman Brave and Bold TV show. And then the other people I don't know much about. So it's very shocking they're making this into a movie. Around this time, the Spider-Man franchise, they're getting ready to make The Sinister Six. But those plans were put on hold. And Suicide Squad would be a great predictor on how well The Sinister Six would do. But anyway... David Ayer is directing this movie. This movie came out in 2016. A lot of critics didn't really like this movie. However, it made a lot of money at the box office. I didn't see it in theaters. I waited till the DVD came out. And I have to say, this movie is, I think it's underrated. I think it's overlooked. Probably one of the most overlooked films in the last five to seven years. I think this movie, it, it, it's really good. It's great. There's a lot of good points about this movie. All right, what I like about the movie. One, you have Batman in the film. Ben Affleck is back as Batman. All right, he's in this film a lot. Maybe not like for 30 minutes, but I thought it was only be his, in this film for like 5 seconds. But he, has, he has a few scenes in here, which are pretty good. I like Batman. All right, I like the plot. I like the story. Them bringing in flawed individuals. They're criminals, but they're not really bad people. They're people that made mistakes. They grew up on the streets. They're lost. And they're bringing these people together for a good cause. Amanda Waller, she's bringing these people together. They accomplished their mission. They'll get time off their prison sentences and other stuff. All right. I also like how they introduce the members of the Suicide Squad. They give these little flashbacks of who these people were and how they got caught. All right? Now, they don't show you a whole lot during the flashbacks. But at the same time, they don't show you too little. So it's just enough to make the audience know who these people were, why they're here. It's the right amount of exposition. All right? Another point I liked about this movie is... Jared Leto's Joker. Some people hate him. I actually like him. Why? Because for years, I've been playing the Batman video games. And every Batman video game I'm playing, I'm always having to go up against or team up with the Joker. Every Batman game I have, it's always a Joker story. It is boring. It killed the Arkham series for me. The reason why I like Jared Leto's Joker is because he's not involved in this movie a whole lot. He's not. He's not involved. That's why I like him. Now, I don't hate Jack Nicholson. I don't hate Mark Hamill. I don't hate Cesar Romero or Joaquin Phoenix or Heath Ledger. They were all good jokers. The problem was they were too involved. Every story they were in was always a joker story. It's always about them. Batman versus the Joker. Get sick and tired of it. So I like the fact that he's not involved in the film that much. You do see him in the movie, but he's not that involved. Another point that I like about this movie is you have a new villain. That is the Enchantress. See right here. Played by Carla Delevingne. I like the Enchantress. She's cool. She's mystic. She can possess people. And they'll they turn the monsters. They'll destroy the entire town of Chicago. Or Gotham City. Alright, I like the fact that they went with a new villain. Giving, giving someone else a chance. To make their mark. 
from the trailers, it looked like uh, we were going to get another Joker story. Oh, it's going to be the Suicide Squad taking down the Joker. Thank God we did not get that. Thank God we got the Enchantress. She pretty much saved this movie for me, man. I love Suicide Squad. I think it's better than Batman if Superman down to justice. I can give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, this movie's not everyone's cup of tea. may not be how Marvel would have done things, but... Based on what they've done, they did a good job. And they spawned two sequels. You got Birds of Prey, got the new Suicide Squad movie. So apparently some people like this movie and saw the others. So Suicide Squad, 10 out of 10. You got a new villain, got a less Joker. I like the plot. The movie, it's dark. It's gritty. I think it's great to watch. If you're a DC fan, you might like this movie. If you're a Marvel fan, you might not. But I like it. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. That's your Suicide Squad 2016 review.